Hi, welcome to 5 Minute Monday. I'm Tommy Harden. Hope you had a great week. We're going to continue our talk this week on the train beat. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We are going to... Uh, actually, let me start off with... I got a comment on the blog site. And by the way, when you look at these videos, leave a comment. Leave a comment on the blog site. Just, you know, tell me where you're from. Tell me what you do. Tell me how you play the drums. Uh, I want to hear... Uh, I want to interact with you guys. So, um, I, I got a comment about... Uh, uh, a gentleman said that he didn't realize that you could play a train beat with going right, right, left, right, 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 left, like this. Okay, so uh, the, there's there's really two ways that you can do a, a train beat, like with brushes at a slower tempo. You can do the almost where you're treating the right hand like a hi-hat, uh, like if you were doing this. But you're doing it on the snare drum. And that's why a lot of times I like to play, slower tempos I like to play it like that because I can almost treat the right hand like a hi-hat. Uh, but you can also go. So experiment with those practice those and what you're going to do is you're going to realize that each one has a different feel. Each one of them has a little different lope. Uh, this one, uh, it almost feels more like, like the snare is a hi-hat. This one feels a little bit more training. So depending on what I'm doing on that particular song uh, is, is what I'll decide to do whether I alternate or, or, or do it the other way. So the that's the answer to that question. Uh, let's move on. Uh, I want to talk about uh, we talked about the train beat last week. I want to mention fills. Uh, and what I like to do, this is just me personally, and of course this is take drawing from my experiences and, and my uh, you know people that I've listened to, uh, one of them being Eddie Bears, Larry London. Uh, I like to, on a train beat, I like to uh, to take and make the fill incorporated in the time, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. In other words, if you've got something going uh, time-wise like this. A lot of times what I like to do is make the fill keep the two and four going. So, like this. One. Keep the pocket of the fill, keep that going in your fill and just kind of transfer the, the, the voices to the other things and try in your fill to keep the two and four going. So that's something else to look at. Obviously, if you go, you notice how the time kind of dropped, the, the, the low kind of dropped. The whole point of a train beat is to get that feel, that train feel. So what you want to do is when you fill, make sure that you don't lose the train feel. Uh, incorporate the train feel in your toms or in your wherever you, wherever you, whichever voice you decide to use for your fill. Uh, I, uh, a song to study for that, which again, and I said this last week, Liza Jane, Vince Gill, Eddie Bears. He, he does this so wonderfully just keeps the pocket going and, and he's throwing in these beautiful fills but the, the two and four never drops for, throughout the whole song so that's something to keep in mind when you're doing a train beat it's really really important because if you stop the pocket to do a fill it's like it's almost like uh, I'm doing a fill okay back to the time now you want to keep the time going during your fill and we'll talk about this later this will probably be a, a separate five minute money by itself Okay, so there's that. I wanted to talk about two other things real quick. Number one, uh, a couple of uh, sessions ago, we talked about the shuffle. Uh, so what I'd like to do is encourage you, practice a train beat that's shuffled. And these are really, really fun. 
Um, here's an example. Okay, notice on that fill, I did the same thing. I incorporated the time in the fill, not dropping the time. So, uh, you can also pr uh, do it the other way, left-handed. I personally, on that particular feel, I like to I like to do the back beats with the right hand. So, uh, I mean, I guess you could go. But I prefer doing it. So it just feels better for me. So try that. Check out that. Experiment with that. Uh, the fourth thing I'd like to uh, go over today, and uh, it's a lot of fun, is a Cajun beat. And basically what a Cajun beat is, is, uh, is like a Louisiana, New Orleans feel groove based on the train. But we talked about accents last week. You throw them in every time. You know, I told you not to throw them in every time last time. On a Cajun beat, you do throw them in every time. So this is a Cajun beat. The Cajun beat, uh, what I did the little intro today with, it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. Uh, you can imagine a guy playing a, uh, a washboard. Uh, a song that uh, you should check out for the Cajun beat, uh, which was really popular. And I think I, I'm not really sure who played drums on it. I, I'm just pulling this uh, off the top of my head. Uh, Twist and Shout by Mary Chapman Carpenter. Great, great Cajun feel. Check that one out. And as I do every week, I will put more examples of what I'm talking about on the blog site. So if you go, when you're checking out this video, don't just click on the video and then leave the blog site. Read what I'm giving you because I'm, I'm going to give you some other notes that I'm not talking about. Uh, check the notes out. I'm, I'll give you some hyperlinks to the, some songs or to some YouTube videos where you can check out these songs. Um, and... Anyway, so that's it. That's our five-minute money for today. There's a lot of information today, so you may have to look at it a couple times to, to get it all, but it, it's a lot of fun. You, you're you're going to have fun with the train beat. Uh, and that's it. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.